El Cid is a legend from Spain. A legend doesn't necessarily explain anything or teach us a lesson. It is usually the story of a brave individual with a little exaggeration to make it interesting. El Cid is based on a true Spanish hero named Don Rodrigo Diaz de Vivar, who lived in Spain from 1040 to 1099. Because he was too prideful, King Alfonso banished him. But he wanted to be pardoned and forgiven, so he decided to attack the Moors who were living in Spain. They were from North Africa, and he thought if he conquered them, he could get back in with the king. So he captured all the Moorish towns with his huge army of followers, including Valencia. When King Alfonso heard this, he pardoned him. El Cid decided he loved Valencia and his family grew up there. His two lovely daughters were going to have a double wedding. On the night of that wonderful occasion, a cowardly man who sided with the Moors crept up to the tent and stuck El Cid in the back. The wound was very deep, and Don Rodrigo died in the arms of his beautiful wife, Imena. Meanwhile, thousands of ships arrived from Africa with King Mutamin and his army. But she was also a strong woman, and she decided that El Cid would lead his army against the Moors like he always had. So she and Alvar Fanez put El Cid in his armor and weapons and tied him to his horse. He and his horse led the army in a sneak attack on the Moors, who were staying in the orange groves. El Cid may have been dead, but his army believed in him and followed him bravely. Because he was already dead, there was no hesitation. He charged with complete <gasps> abandon. King Mutamin of Morocco knew from his spies that El Cid had died so he was terrified when he saw him coming towards him. He was trampled by El Cid's horse, and the rest of his superstitious army threw themselves off a cliff rather than face him. The braveness and sacrifice made by Don Rodrigo Diaz de Vivar inspired this interesting legend.